Right, so uh, this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well Aries Rising. Uh, monthly general tarot reading, April 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from uh, which you can purchase such. So, uh, that being said, moving straight away uh, to the reading itself, the first card which represents the topic of your month, Aries, is going to be uh, the Seven of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Energies, which is feeding and supporting the topic here. We do have the Temperance card. Afterwards is going to stand the challenges that you will have to and need to overcome throughout the month, that is to be the Sun card. Afterwards, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you can and should enjoy throughout the week, uh, throughout the month, excuse me, that is to be the Ten of Pentacles. Standing next, we do have the impression of the others that they're going to have uh, towards you. That will be uh, the um, Ace of Cups. Afterwards, uh, we do have uh, what is going to help your long term goal uh, throughout the month of uh, April. That will be the King of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have what is going to hurt your long-term um, goal in life in general. That will be the Eight of Pentacles. And the last one here that we do have, it will be the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you. We do have the Seven of uh, Wands. So quite of a long one. Uh, it's an eight-card eight, eight card spread. So um, it will be a bit of a, a long video too. So, uh, what we do have here on our hands, um, it's, uh, first of all, let's uh, have a look at the topic and uh, the general... Oh my god, uh, just one second guys. And uh, the energies, the general energies which are feeding up the topic. So, looking at the general energies, it uh, looks like that throughout the, the month of April, you, for one or another reason, will be able to find just the correct and the exact measures uh, how to approach any kind of situations in your life. That being said, it's highly unlikely that you are going to have anything that uh, you are to tackle with, you, which you cannot overcome, uh, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, which is going to predispose you, Aries, to start tackling with uh, more chores than usual and you are as well going to, how can I say it, uh, be um, pleasantly surprised that uh, many of those chores are not creating rather poignant uh, feelings within you but you are going to be more than happy to just resolve them and, and sort them out and get them out of your hands and, and move on with uh, the more productive and let's say a more substantial goals and more substan substantial themes uh, in your life. Now on another note, uh, the temperance card also as an energy is going to bring a lot of compassion and a lot of solidarity within your environment that is. So you can expect so even if you do have some differences in opinions and as well uh, in generally in perceptions for the world and for your job, for example, and for your relationship, you are going to face an understanding from the people that are surrounding the situation and that are incorporated into the situation as well. Uh, <clears throat> but however, that leads us to the seven of swords, which uh, represents the very topic of uh, the month. So um, the situation is going to be such that you are you are going to have the um, I would say opportunity to start taking exactly as much as uh, you not just only that you deserve but as well as exactly as much as you have been owed because uh, the month itself through the solidarity through the compassion and through seeing that while you may not have a common ground with those that you are in, that you are cooperating with your opinion and your goal is just as equally as good as theirs um, you are going to show a strong backbone that is the situation itself stepping for your own personal rights okay and showing uh, either um, not either but rather a an up amplified um, self-righteousness and uh, therefore, wherever you feel that things are not developing um, in a way that you deserve, 
then um, it seems that you're gonna just simply storm uh, that situation out demanding straight away you know to be paid properly to be addressed properly to be attended properly and etc etc so in our country in the for that particular situation we do have those words that we are not going to allow our courage to be left in the mud and to pretty much be stranded there but instead <clears throat> Instead, we are going to step for ourselves, step up for ourselves this time around. And uh, from another standpoint as well, the Seven of uh, Swords here points that you, Aries, are going to also take some measures in advance so you can intercept and as well um, diminish possibility to be deceived, not just by others, but also by yourself in a sense of having uh, rather exaggerated expectations for a current enterprise in your life. Uh, from there, we are moving into the challenges that you will need to overcome. That is the Sun card. And as we said, with the first couple of cards, there are going to be a lot of solidarity and a lot of compassion that is going to come towards you. And while you may have different opinion and different goal, people are going to respect that. Challenging wise, you also need to respect those differences. That is to be challenging for you. Uh, because the Sun card here points that while you do have all the predispositions um, to have a har harmony into your relationships, not just only in your, a, uh, re in your romantic relationships, but as well a co-working type of a relationship, business relationships and etc, etc. For one or another reason, you are going to struggle maintaining it. Probably, I am guessing here and assuming, probably it is because while your opinion have been respected, you may have you may have a little a little tolerance for the foreign opinion. Okay. Uh, another thing from the Sun card as a um, challenge is that you may find yourself challenge it to enjoy what you do. And we said again that you have to tackle with a lot of chores. While they may not be as annoying as uh, they usually are, they may not be as well as exhilarating as you want them to be. And that is another challenge that you will have to tackle and that you will have to pretty much overcome. Uh, how you can do so with the Sun card? Well, pretty much the Sun card points to a natural unfoldment of things as the Sun always rises from the East and Sun sets on the West. That, is, that represents the natural cycle. So those chores are Im not imminent, but mandatory, mandatory here. Okay, you have to do them one way or another. And by reminding yourself that it is a way how you can overcome, you know, the lack of exhilaration that you may have from the job. Well done. Uh, moving next, uh, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout this month of April, uh, Aries, and that is going to be a gift and the blessing of the Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles, first of all, points that wherever you throw your efforts at, wherever you invest, either money, either time, efforts as well, investments can be just more, uh, or emotions, for example, your investments are going to be um, well found. What I mean is that they are going to be returned into your investments in one or another form. Additionally to that, the Ten of Pentacles gifts you with independence, which means that that could be an extraordinary month for you to pay debts, uh, to, uh, for example, you know, fulfill promises in the sense of that someone, someone is um, holding you on a leash because you have a, a favor to return and etc, etc. So that is a, a month where you are going to become even more independent from the exterior circumstances. Uh, it could be an independence in terms of, you know, moving out from your family home and renting finally your own place as well and, and so on and so forth. I mean that the independence here may take many, many different gazes. And finally, as a gift and blessing, the Ten of Pentacles here as well points that you may reconcile with someone. Not necessarily, however, that reconciliation has to be a romantic reconciliation that that could be just a, a friend of your high school that just happens to be in town and kind of like reaches out to catch up with you and it, uh, suddenly it turns out that they're going to stay in the town and that will be a, a, a continuation of a, a beautiful pr friendship that you do had back in the days but as well it could be also a, a romantic reconciliation uh, however what is um a very uh, common for the Ten of Pentacles, it is that uh, the uh, 
previous relationship that you do have with that person was uh, abruptly ended. What I mean is that it should not end it back then, uh, either because you have been disappointed of something, either because they have been disappointed of something, and now you have a second chance to catch up with it. Uh, so how people are going to see you here, we do have the Ace of Cups, what kind of impression people are going to have into you or kind of like are going to have in regards to you here. That will be, like I said, Ace of Cups, it kind of points that people are going to envy you. It is because they are going to see you in a state situation and in generally in a, in a cycle of life where you have everything you need in order to be happy okay you do have the opportunities you do have the circumstances uh, this is how people see you as much as i can see from the first couple of cards you may have the opportunities but those opportunities like we said it is because you fought for them it is and it's not because those opportunities have been gifted to you it is because you have invested here as we can see with the ten of pentacles as well and not because you have exploited a charity but people doesn't see that right and that's why you can't be envied throughout the months of april Additionally to that, people are going to have an impression that you are on the seventh he on the seventh heaven. It is again an expression in our country, meaning that you are extremely, extremely happy and that your life is turning for the better. Especially if you have been down in the dumps up until now, people are going to see a major, major improvement. But once again, people do not see behind the curtains and they, and they do not know how much you fought. For that particular um, standpoint or stance or, or you name it or in generally a unfoldment of life so what can um, literally improve your long-term goal i mean how you can uh, what you can do in order to um, help yourself as much as you uh, as much as you can throughout this month we do have the king of pentacles and that is a person who is willing to invest in you. So you are investing, they are investing back, okay? And they are investing in a sense of that this investment will help you, for example, to find a new job. They can invest with, the, for example, um, if a new job, it is your long-term goal here, a good job, they can invest with the connections that they do have, you know, kind of like connecting you with the right person. That is as well an investment, okay? They can invest with financing your business, seeing how much potential your business has right? But the King of Pentacles, they always have something to gain from it. And that thing doesn't necessarily have to relate to you as well. I mean that they could gain from a, a peripheral circumstances that are to unfold based on um, your improvement here. And you may not lose anything. You, what I mean here is that you may not need to pay anything to the King of Pentacles, although they will have a huge profit from your from your unfoldment moving forward what is important here with the king of pentacles though it is that uh, they ask only once because they can invest in anybody okay and right now they are deciding to invest in you and if you turn that investment so uh, investment away they probably are not going to ask you twice so that's why whenever someone is trying to lend you a hand here to help you with something with with a particular investment do not turn it away there is no need for you to do so uh, another thing here it is uh, what is going to um, not deprive but let's say hurt your long-term goal and that is eight of pentacles and it's quite a bizarre card having it into, into this position eight of pentacles pretty much uh, to me at this point that you may lose a lot of time trying to trying to perfect something uh, that does not need to be as perfect as you want it to be. So uh, with this card, uh, what I can advise you here, Aries, it is that you should develop uh, an, an enterprise or an endeavor or, or, or a, a situation to a point that it works. And because with this card proceeding forward with it in a sense of that, you know, trying to make it even better, it's completely unnecessary. All right. And, uh, uh, if I have to give you an example, I don't know. I mean, um, if your car doesn't run uh, uh, and it needs a, a major uh, or kind of like it needs a, um, a repair, with the, if we do have this card here and your goal is to put your card into exploitation here, it means that you should repair only those parts that are essential so the car can run. 
everything else is going to be overdue at least at that particular stage because you do have other investments to do with the ten of pentacles as we saw and the last one it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you Aries we do have seven of wands so seven of wands in this particular case only thing that it points it is that you have to be ready to jump into action whenever the opportunity for an action arises okay so you always constantly need to keep your eyes peeled for a openings from the environment and especially when that person comes around because like I said he's going to ask you only once and you need to have that readiness to say yes i'm going to do it i'm going to cooperate with you and thank you so much for the opportunity and uh, also as a guidance it kind of like it by a long shot but it kind of points that you should not pay much attention to the envy of the others because like I said you are going uh, people are going to envy you but as well you should not allow a nasty rumors and gossips to be spread that are addressing your name but instead you should kind of like prove them wrong straight away um, at sight as soon as you uh, find out about them so that being said Aries this was your weekly general um, not weekly monthly excuse me general tarot reading April uh, 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such and depending on the um, service that you have purchased I'm going to contact you within 24 hours giving you details how your reading is going to take place stay safe now and hopefully we're going to see each other next time until then, bye.